Hello everybody. Sorry for the hiatus there. We're back. Uh, I've been on a little bit of a trying to tie Ray Bergman style wet flies. Uh, I'm gonna do um, a Bergman uh, fly called uh, the Never Sink, uh, which has a yellow body, uh, gray mallard flank as the tail and wing and a little bit of uh, yellow as a false ackle, throat, beard, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, I'm gonna try it small. Uh, I know a lot of people I see uh, doing it online in videos do uh, size six and up. I'm gonna try it on a size 12. Um, the hook I'm gonna use here is a uh, partridge uh, wet fly hook, size 12. And that's the one that's in the vise. Um, in, with the small, instead of trying to uh, tie in uh, white and then wrap floss on top, uh, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and just use yellow silk as uh, my tying thread. Uh, and the silk I'm using is YLI. Uh, it's number 214, YLI Yellow Silk. Kimono is another good silk brand um, that you can get out there in standard uh, bobbin sizes. Uh, obviously, Parasols. Parasols uh, is not being manufactured any longer. Um, but uh, you, could use, you could use a white uh, thread for the body and then use yellow floss. If you'd like, uh, I'm just gonna use the yellow silk. So I get a yellow body, which is the goal here, um, and use it as my tying thread at the same time. So I just went back uh, to the point of the fly and uh, I'm gonna grab some, some mallard flank here. I'm going to uh, pull a bunch of, of uh, the different barbules uh, sorry, uh, out so I can align the tips and then I'm going to just pull those off like that, transfer that clump to this hand. I'm going to try and measure about a body's length. Uh, sometimes they say a body and a half. Uh, if I include the eye, and uh, just grab it right there, come over here and uh, catch it in with the silk and keeping it on top. Uh, I'll wrap the silk back. To the end of the shank here. This fly is a little bit simpler than a lot of the Bergman wet flies. There's no tag. There's no rib. Uh, so that's kind of nice to get going. Um, mallard flank wings can be a little bit of pain um, to deal with. But the nice thing is that uh, unlike, you know, working with quills and so forth, um, odds are odds of a perfect uh, mallard flank wing are not too high. Um, so, uh, I cut off that to leave a little bit on the body and I'm going to come forward in touching turns with the silk. Bind that down. You don't have to, uh, put too much tension on things here. So I'm going to come up to just about an eye length behind the eye. Um, now just to, the body should be, should be, at least in the pictures in, uh, in the book, um, we have, um, uh, sort of like an oval, oval shape. Um, so this silk is corded, so I'm going to give it a, a spin to ch just try and flatten the thread out. Hopefully you can see it flattening. 
and the camera. It's a little hard with it in between. And I'm gonna come back and you can see there it's already just the winding uh, around the hook has already kind of uh, twisted it up quite a bit. So you just, it's a little laborious um, if you want to make it flat and kind of keep that body nice and smooth um, to keep doing this. Um, you know, between you and me, I don't think the trout give a shit about whether you have a flat, smooth body or not. Um, so, yeah, it's up to you whether you want to take the time to do that for, uh, for the fly. I'm just to show you the technique, you know, some of you might really care about exactly how it looks. So I'm not going to go all the way back. I'm going to start to come forward. And then I'm going to stop short of where I was before. I'm going to come back. I personally don't care about the flattening of the thread. Um, and the smoothness of the body, um, the general shape, you know, on the camera, with the zoom, you know, in tight as you're looking at it, um, you're going to see the lines of the threads, you know, my touch and turns are not perfect, blah, 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 um, but the idea here is, this is a fishing fly, so I just want to make a, like an oval shaped body, and then I'm going to kind of move it up there, hopefully you can see that that's, um, uh, in an oval shape. Alright, now we're going to do, um, the other thing that I'm going to do, um, a little bit of a color transfer here. Because uh, we want the head of the fly to be black. I'm going to tie the wing and the, the fall sackle in uh, with black thread. So I'm going to first, I'm just going to do a couple wraps here. And then I'm going to grab that ye yellow silk with um, the excess piece of the black, the tag. And just wind those back together. And then I can cut those off. With this camera in front of me, I missed a little bit there. All right, back. Sorry, I decided to start over on, and I had to find a better feather and clump, and I. If you look through your, if you have strung saddle hackle, you'll find a feather that's better. Um, if you really look through it, um, that'll have more, um, I guess webbing or uh, more density uh, to the hackle. Uh, so we're gonna try this one. you can see there definitely a better better throat all right now the tricky part with the camera in the way and that's to push the uh, silk the thread away while at the same time grabbing the okay let's see if we can do this okay I got it hopefully you can see that it's uh, definitely not the easiest thing with a camera in front of you. Um, but there we are. Get a nice throat. Let me just adjust this a little bit better. All right, now I've got a mallard flank feather here 
and uh, this is the f the front of the feather. And what I've kind of done is I've put my hackle pliers in here and separated um, ch a chunk of the feather. It's a little hard to show on the camera. Uh, there's a great video which I'll link to um, by Dead Irons, and he shows this technique um, from Don Bastion. Um, and basically, it's a way in which instead of cutting out slips, you cut out, uh, and then you kind of end up with uh, with the clump of the mallard wing. Now you want this to be. Uh, to go about halfway back in between the tail. So something about there. I'm gonna roll my fingers forward, do a pinch and loop, let that hang. And I'm just gonna kinda let it, let the weight of the bobbin go down. And then I'll cinch it. Another one, another pencil loop. Kind of peek in there. Just gonna get that. Yeah, you see how the mallard is straight. It's up and down, it's kind of making a wing. I'm gonna cinch it down. A little bit better. I'm gonna come in here with some really sharp, fine scissors. Remove those buttons. Then we'll come down here to right above the hook eye and begin to form our head. Something like that is the head of the fly. Nice mallard flank. And then, again, if you want, um, you can flatten, you, you can even flatten this thread here. Some people like to do that. This is uh, Umi. Um, a dot in black, and then now that it's flattened, I'll do a whip finish and sort of smooth out this head. A couple more right in the middle. And there you go. Nice and flat and thread, it actually makes it a little weaker. And sometimes the, the friction, as you just saw there, like pulling through the whip finish. Um, actually breaks it, which is not necessarily a bad thing, because um, you were going to cut it off anyway. And there you have it. Uh, so that's the fly, and then I'll just use a little Sally Hansen's um, to finish up the head, blow it up. This is going to sink in. Um, into the thread wraps. Looks a little goopy right now. But it's going to sink in. And then, you know, fly this size, you probably have to do maybe one one or two more coats to get the fancy glossy head if you care about such a thing. Uh, to make sure the eye is clear, just take an old peacock curl, run it through, kind of brush it out, and that's the fly. All right, thank you very much.